Hi there, I'm Jacob Marash, CEO of STEM Audio. And in this video, I wanna discuss the role the hub plays in the STEM Audio ecosystem, as well as answer the question of when do you actually need to use a hub? So first of all, what is a hub? Hub is a device that basically centralizes all the communication from the different STEM Audio devices in the room, turns them into one channel, and then passes that data to whatever interface you're using, whether it's your PC running your video conferencing or Dante network. It also adds additional connectivity, such as external speakers, or as I mentioned, a Dante network connectivity. So as you recall, every single STEM audio device is networkable, which means you can plug it in, and through that network connection, it gets both data as well as power. Now, if you have multiple devices in the room, you're gonna plug in a hub device to that same network, and that hub is basically gonna tell all the other devices to send their audio signals to that device. It's gonna mix it in a smart way and then represent the room in a single channel. So, when do you need to use a hub? You need to use a hub in any room that either has multiple devices or if you want external speakers for that room or to use that external Dante connectivity. Now, remember, if you have multiple devices in a room, you will only need one hub. You'll never have more than one hub in a room and if you do not need a hub, meaning you're just using one device or you don't need a Dante or external speakers, every single STEM audio device can still be used as a standalone device and has both a USB and network connection. Let's go take a look at the different connectors on the hub and go over and see what each one of them does. All right, so now we're looking at the connector panel in the back of the hub. And going from right to left, the first connector is an RJ45 connector, and this is your Dante connectivity. This will be used if you wanna plug into a Dante network and then represent all the devices in a room as a single Dante channel. The next connector is a USB connector, a nice and sturdy USB connector. Um, and that's pretty straightforward. It's to be used to plug the hub into a PC that will most probably be running your video conferencing. After that, we have another RJ45 connector and that is your ethernet jack. And this is the most important connector as it powers the device as well as lets the hub communicate with all the other STEM audio devices in the room. The final connector all the way on the left is a Phoenix connector, and that is the speaker out connectivity. It's got both left, right, and ground. It's a balanced connector, and it's to be used if you wanna rely on your own speakers in the room, or if you have a room that's using only our ceiling devices that do not have a speaker, you can plug in your own speakers into this. And it's important to mention that you'll probably have to plug this into an amplifier before you go to the speakers. Then finally, if you go back to the center, Right above the ethernet, you see a little Kensington lock logo over there. And that is because we do have a Kensington lock capability on the hub in case you map the hub somewhere and you wanna make sure that it's locked in place and nobody takes it and walks away with it. So just one last thing I wanna talk about before we uh, end this video, and that is the form factor of the hub. And as you can see, it's specifically designed to be super thin and with a very simple mounting system in the back. So it'll be very easy to hide behind your monitor or your screen, out of sight, out of mind and also as close as possible to your PC so you don't have to run long USB cables. So that's it, pretty straightforward, don't you think? Thanks for watching.